Hey guys, so we've got a interesting uh, firmware update now where I think we've got a lot more regen. And uh, Jesse's been mentioning, we've been seeing it on the forums mentioned. So I've been watching the, the MoTeC here and certainly there is more regen, but it goes away. So it's kind of cool. Tesla's now uh, has a model that's not just based on temperature, but it's also based on temperature and time. So how much charge you put into the battery. So basically if you've been driving for a while, the batteries discharge a bunch of energy and it's kind of ready to take some of that back. So even though it's cold, it can still suck some back at a fairly high power. And you can watch this and we'll display it on the on the on your screen where you can see the power limit start to creep up. If you're in a lot of regen for a while, then the, the power comes up. So I just want to make a short little video to kind of show you how that logic's working and how Tesla's kind of got this this map of how much regen you can use based on how much power you've just discharged and also how long you've been regening for. So quick little video and you can see how it works. It's pretty cool. So before the way it worked is that based on the battery temperature there would just be a hard limit and you know at the temperature that we're at today which is about zero degrees celsius or 32 because that's a great number for when, <laughs> <laughs> when water is freezing um, it would just be like a fixed limit of like negative 30 kilowatts and no matter how long you accelerated for it would just you would be waiting forever and especially on cold days uh, when you're driving efficiently around town the battery just won't will not warm up uh, so you'd just be stuck at negative 30 forever. So this this gives you almost full regen around these kind of zero degree days. Um, and you know if you're going down a huge hill or something, then it, it will eventually limit you to that kind of 30 kilowatt number. But um, you get that, which is coming to a full stop even from 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. It's um, it just starts limiting right as you're as the car's slowing down and using less regen anyway. So you hardly even notice that the regen is limited now. It's pretty cool. It's about 70-ish kilowatts now of regen, and we're just going to go into regen for a while here. And it's at 65, and now you see the limits start coming up. It's chasing the limit, and the power is following that limit perfectly. Now it's at 40, 39, 38, and then as soon as I accelerate again, all of a sudden, that limit starts going back down. Now we've got, we're allowed to use a lot of regen again because we've accelerated. And if we, now we're almost allowing 80, 70 kilowatts, we're just hitting that limit perfectly. And it's eating it away as we're kind of giving the battery as much as it's willing to take at its current temperature. And then, interestingly, if I don't accelerate, let's see what happens. I'm just going to put it in neutral and we'll see how long until we get that regen back. See, the limit is still there. It's really slowly going down, whereas before when I accelerated, it would go down right away. So here I'm stopped in the middle of the road, hopefully it'll get rear-ended, but you can see that limit now is staying at negative 42. And as soon as I accelerate and get some energy out of the battery, look at that, right away, it goes down. So basically what it's saying is that inside the, the battery, and you have to forgive me for not being an expert on this, the, the battery is almost working like a sponge. It's letting it out, and as it lets it out, even though it's cold, it can still take that back in to some degree. And so the, I find that very interesting. I don't know exactly physically what's happening, but obviously the damage that happens to the battery cells themselves happen with sustained charge over a long period of time. And there is that elastic sponge-like effect, which when you, you accelerate, then you're allowed some regen to get that energy back in. And if you put too much in, it starts, imagine, clogging up that sponge, and then now it can't take as much. And until you discharge again, 
you don't open that sponge back up, if you will, to let the battery come back in. So I just was watching the Motec Dash. I found that kind of interesting, the way that was working. And we just wanted to make a quick little video about it for how this new logic works with this battery, um, this regen cool temperature. So that's it, guys. Hope you find it kind of interesting. Bye, guys.